A black dwarf, for now, is only a theoretical stellar remnant, a white dwarf that has cooled down and it no longer emits significant heat or light. Basically, a black dwarf is the final stage of the life cycle of a sun-like star. When the sun burns all of its hydrogen to helium, its core will shrink and it will rearrange itself expanding its outer layers to form a red giant star. In this stage, it will burn helium for the next 100 million years into carbon, and when it's out of helium, it will once again rearrange itself. So, now that the sun won't be dense enough to fuse carbon into other heavier elements, it will slowly shed its outer layers and become a white dwarf. But in this stage, the sun will still remain hot for some time, much like a stove burner still emits heat even when it has been turned off. So the white dwarf will still be radiating heat and energy for the next tens of hundreds of billion years until it runs out of heat. Now that the sun has no heat or light, you can call it a black dwarf. But no black dwarf has ever been observed. Because the estimated cooling time for a white dwarf is in the trillions of years, it is unlikely that there is any black dwarf in our universe, which is only 12 to 18 billion years old. Even if a white dwarf had formed at the moment of the Big Bang, which is impossible since a star must pass through several evolutionary stages that take at least a billion years total, it would still be a white dwarf today, having not yet sufficiently cooled. But even if they existed, it would still be nearly impossible to see them because of the lack of radiation. <laughs>